Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Estes Park real estate market stats for February of 2022. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Jeff Abel with the Abel team here in beautiful Estes Park, Colorado. And today we're gonna to be looking at a few key real estate market stats from February of 2022. As always, We'll be looking at both our single family home stats as well as our attached dwelling stats, which are our condos and our townhomes. The first category we're going to look at is single family homes in the 80517 zip code. So let's take a look. For closed sales in February, there were 11 homes that sold. This is up from nine in January of 2021, a 22% increase. Our new listings that were at nine for February which is exactly the same number of new listings from the same month last year. Days on market until sale for February was at 52, and this is actually up from last February when the average days on market was 34. That's almost a 53% increase in days on market. Median sale price for February was $849,000, up 43.9% from February 2021's median price of $589,900. And finally, months of inventory was at half a month in February, which was down 28.6% from 0.7 months in February of 2021. Next, we're gonna take a look at attached dwelling statistics for February of 2022. And again, these are our stats for condos and townhomes. In February, we had 12 closed sales, which was up from nine in February of 2021, an increase of 33%. There were eight new listings in January, which was once again the same number as February of last year. Days on market for attached dwellings was at 50, an increase of 8.7% from February 2021's average of 46. The median sale price for February for townhomes and condos was $420,787, up 40.3% from February 2021's median price of $300,000. Finally, we had 0.3 months of inventory for condos and townhomes in February, which was down from 0.5 months in February of 2021, a 40% decrease. While the inventory remains low in Estes Park, that does not mean homes and condos are not selling. In fact, through February 2022, we've seen a 36.8% increase in the sale of single family homes and a 23.5% increase in sales of attached dwellings over the first two months of 2021. And this is despite fewer new homes and listing and slightly more condo listings hitting the market in these two months. So demand remains high and inventory remains historically low, resulting in an increase in both the median and average sale prices for homes and attached dwellings here in town. And we're seeing sales prices for both exceeding the list prices. What that means for sellers is that if you are thinking of selling, now might be the time to get your home on the market before the influx of properties in the late spring and the early summer. And if you're a buyer, waiting may cost you tens of thousands of dollars both on the price of a home and on interest as rates are expected to increase throughout the year. Right now, your buying power is probably the highest it will be this year. If you have any questions about the market here in Estes Park or the surrounding areas, please don't hesitate to ask. You can leave a comment below, message us on social media, or give us a call at 970-586-8500. If you found this video to be helpful, we always appreciate it when you hit that like button and click subscribe, and it'll help get our video in front of more people who are curious about moving to Estes Park. Also, if you're interested in an email market report that goes into more detail about each property that lists, goes under contract, and closes, we can set those up for your specific neighborhood or an entire zip code. Just check the description below for info on how to sign up, and we'll deliver that right to your inbox each month. Finally, check out these other videos we think will be helpful if you're thinking about selling in 2022. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.